Hello. So today, guys, I am going to be showing you guys how to use the interrupt affinity policy configuration tool. And I wanted to make this video because it seems like there's a lot of um, different things that you can do to actually improve your system responsiveness and your actual latency with your mouse besides just getting more frames per second. That is definitely a very good way to do that. And that is probably the main way I recommend most people do it. But if you're somebody that really wants to push your computer to its max performance, and especially if you really care about like input lag, then this is going to be the guide for you. And so, yeah, this is the tutorial. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download the Interrupt Affinity, C Affinity Policy Configuration Tool, and then once you open that and download it, you're going to want to run this one as the administrator. That'll be the x86.exe one. And then you're going to want to go down to the bottom right and then open up Device Manager. Now, what you guys are probably going to see is something like this. Now, a lot of people, what they do wrong with this is that they try to essentially look for, for example, they think, oh, display adapters. Oh, there's my 3080. Oh, so I should pair it to my, I should put one of my cores on my 3080. What you want to do, guys, is you want to put the most input latency sensitive items on the least active cores in your system. Now, the way you can actually do this is a few different ways. I found the easiest way is by just using, for example, Process Lasso. And the reason why I like to do this is because it's super simple and Process Lasso will report it pretty actively in real time, kind of like Task Manager does. And so what you wanna do is you'll notice how there's a few different cores on my system that just have almost nothing going on. That's what you want to do is you want to put something like, for example, your mouse or your GPU on a core like that, because that's going to be something that has very little going on. So it's going to have the most likelihood of being done first if anything else is on there. You don't want to put this on, for example, like core zero, because Windows will use core zero for a lot of different things, especially the ones up here in Process Lasso, which you can't configure the affinity to, especially like Windows, initialization system, registry, CSR. RSS, like stuff like that, to where Windows is just going to use the first core because it's just the easiest. But you'll notice how there's a bunch of different cores that aren't being used. And so that's what you want to do is you want to pair it to those. Now, the next step, and this is really important too, what you don't want to do is you don't want to pair this to large system devices. You want to be very specific about what you pair to each of your affinities on each core. You want to make sure that you do it on an inactive core and that you want to make sure that your interrupt affinities are on different cores. So for example, what, if you have two GPUs, you want the interrupt to be on one core and then the other interrupt to be on a different core. If you have a mouse, you want it to be on a completely different core from both of those. You don't want to be attaching them together because then you're going to have essentially latency introduced because you're going to be having multiple executions that need to happen. And so the way to tell, by the way, to properly do this is go down to view and then devices by connection. Now, what you guys are going to see is this. And what you want to do is you want to go down and you want to look for the ACPI compliance system. This is kind of the meat and potatoes of everything that you're going to want to work with, because this is going to be all of the main devices on your system, at least most of them. And so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to the PCI Express root complex, because that is for sure going to be everything that is going to be connected to your system, because these are all going to be the things that are going to be the most important. And so then what you're going to want to do is a lot of people will tell you, oh, you want to program your USB hub. So for example, they'll say you want to go down to here and then select this device. You don't want to do that because what's going to happen is that all of your USB devices are going to be on the interrupt of the same core. And that's not very good because you can have dozens of different things on your USB ports. And so what you want to do is go down one more step and then you're going to want to keep looking and you're going to want to find where your mouse is or your keyboard, depending on what you're wanting. And so for example, you'll see that I have two right here. I have the USB input device for the HID compliant mouse. And then I have a bunch of other ones up here, like the Realtek Gigabit Ethernet Family Controller. And then if I go down one more, it's, for example, it'll kind of cascade, but you want to look for your mouse. That's the main one. And so if I kind of search around here, you'll notice that I have HID compliant mouse. This is where all my keyboards are. And this is another one where all the other stuff is. But these two are the ones that are going to matter the most for me, because I want to do this for my mouse specifically. And so if you go down into the properties, and then you go down to driver, and then you're going to want to look for the specific device driver object name or device object name. 
me see if I can find it here. It's kind of tucked away in this massive list. So physical device object name. And so then you'll see it says 0005C, right? Well, at the very top of my system, you'll see the mouse is right here. And what you're going to want to check is you're going to want to make sure it's the same one. So this is 62, right? So I have two mouses. So now let's see if it's the other one. So if I go to right here, and then I go to details, and then I go to physical object device name, this one's 62 as well. So that's how you know you're actually getting the correct one. Remember, you want to delegate this as much as possible because you want to have your interrupt affinities on the cores be very specifically on non-busy cores, and you don't want to do it for large large items or large overall controllers. Like you don't want to, for example, this is a big mistake. What you don't want to do is you don't want to pair, for example, on the PCI right here, the PCI standard host CPU bridge or the PCI express root complex, because that is everything right here. All of that stuff. That's not what you want to actually use it for. And you don't want to do it for the PCI standard host CPU bridge either, because again, that's going to be everything that's going to be running through that PCIe bridge. And so as we delegate down, we're going to find a few different things. And then the next one you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to look for your GPU. And your GPU is listed underneath here. So I have two GPUs. I have a 3070 and a 3080. And so what you're going to want to go is drop down, and then you're going to see that it's listed under these. And so then you're going to want to look around. So mine right here, my by 8 is my 3080. And so that's how you know that this is the correct one is because by 8 is your second GPU slot and by 16 is your first GPU slot. And so then you're going to want to go down to set mask and then you're going to want to set it to your least busiest core. Generally, it can be a few different ones, but generally I found that core 6 and core 7 are kind of the least busiest ones on my system. So I set it for both of those. And so then you're going to want to find your by 8. So my by 8 is my 3080. And so then you're going to scroll down and you're going to want to find this one as well, where you're going to want to find your 3080. And then you're going to want to set it to the exact same core as the one you set for the bridge at the very top. And so my by 16 would be my 3070, set mask, core 6. And then I go right here, and then I click core 6 as well. And then you'll hit apply, obviously, and then you want to restart your computer. You want to double check and make sure that when you're setting this, if you have, for example, threads, so if you have a 6 core 12 thread system, you don't want to be setting it to a thread. You want to be setting it to a core because a core is much faster and it's much more, uh, it's just a lot more powerful than a thread. I believe that it's different for AMD and Intel. So you want to double check and make sure that you're actually looking at it and making sure that you've got the right one. And so, the, yeah, guys, that's basically the entire idea is that you want to delegate this down as much as possible. You don't want to put large swaths of items on your different device structures. So for example, don't connect it to your USB controller in terms of your affinity interrupt, because that's just gonna be all of your Bluetooth stuff. That's gonna be everything. We only wanna focus on the most absolute latency sensitive things. So for some people, that's their mouse. For some people, that's their computer keyboard. For some people, that's their headphones. You know, you could be an audiophile and you could benefit from this technically because that'll help the latency of the noise. So yeah, guys, that's just a bunch of different ones that you guys can do. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. My name is Savaterix, and I'm out.